here I am standing by my house, and back there is a whole mountain full of fuel. So to protect my house from burning down and the whole mountain full of fuel bones, I'm going to go turn on the fire squisher. have basically a rainstorm on the main surrounding my whole house. So if you want to see how I built my own personal rainstorm, follow along with the video and watch till the end. One quick note before we begin. I am a random guy on YouTube. Do not trust the safety of your house to a random guy on YouTube. This system that we're going to see today is 100% purely experimental. It might not even work, and even if it did work, there's a chance your house could burn down anyway because fires are very unpredictable. Also, this system is not a substitute for defensible space, for a professional team of firefighters, even, it's not even a substitute for a person with a garden hose. So, please don't get any ideas. Do not depend on anything unless, I don't know, unless you're particularly inclined to trust random people on YouTube, and even then, don't depend on this. Take multiple precautions and just realize that if you're in a fire area, your house could burn down anyway. The layers are gone. Let's get building. For this project, I ended up needing about 130 feet of pipe. I could have got that from my local big box still, but it turned out to be cheaper to get the pipe from my local metal yard. It was so much cheaper that it paid for the pipe dye with money left over. This threading took a while, so I decided I would speed it up a bit. Yeah! That was fast, wasn't it? I'll now take the pipe threader off the pipe. In a system like this, if you have too many holes, or if they are too large, not enough water will be able to flow through the pipe to supply them. On the other hand, if the holes are too small, then some of the flow capacity of the pipe will be wasted. Calculating this properly is really complicated. So I chose to just make the total cross-sectional area of all the holes equal to the cross-sectional area of the pipe. Remember, in a closed loop, there are two pipes feeding any given hole, so the holes can be twice as big. Conveniently, this was close enough to the diameter of a hole left by my plasma cutter that I could just make the holes that way and not worry about it too much. Now that I have all the holes done, it's time to add fittings. This is mostly just a bunch of elbows and unions, except at one corner I'm putting a T for a hose to come in and supply water.
down Voy a sacar mi boleto Ese camión ya me espera Lo sacaré sin regreso Porque tal vez ya no vuelva Camioncito no te vayas Espérate otro ratito Ya sonó la campanada No encuentro mi rebocito Corre, corre camioncito Y dale vuelo a motor Corre, corre camioncito Me está esperando mi amor you can see I have pipe installed all along this side of the house, all along the best side, all along that side, and of course, all along the east side. I'm pretty happy with how this whole project turned out. I worry a lot less about fire now, and I know that when a fire comes, I will have a lot more help fighting it, because the whole house will have both defensible space and wet defensible space. That's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. I hope you're now thinking about how to protect your house from fire, especially if you live in any kind of rural area. Fire is coming for you when you are least prepared, so make it so that when you are least prepared, you're still prepared enough. And with that, I'll see you next time.